Howdy everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War as we rampage our way through the end of round two. All right, we got all of our winners from round one going against each other to see who's going to make it into round three. Today we've got two, two more good ones. All right, from 1978, The Tubes. What do you want from live? And from 1981, we've got Journey. Captured. All right, two pretty cool bands. Kind of different bands, right? Uh, one band who uh, kind of more of a God, experimental rock, progressive rock, theatrical rock type of thing, right? And then the other, a kind of arena rock band. A lot of pop hooks and, you know, early on did like the kind of jazz fusion thing, prog thing, and then became just a hit making machine. So let's start with uh, the Tubes first, all right? Recorded in November 1977 at the Hammersmith Odeon in London, England. Released February 1978. Okay, so of course, uh, this is the lineup that features Fee Waybill on vocals, Bill Spooner on guitars and vocals, Michael Cotton on synths, Mingo Lewis, the famous Mingo Lewis. God, he's played with everybody on drums and percussion. Prairie Prince on drums. Roger Steen on guitar. Steen and Spooner made a great guitar combo. Uh, Vince Welnick on keyboards, Rick Anderson on bass, and Ree Styles on uh, additional vocals. Okay, this is a really, really interesting album. Again, this is before the tubes really kind of broke big with a lot of hit singles on FM rock radio and whatnot and started selling a lot more albums, right? This is the tubes still kind of like early on in their career. Okay, it kicks off with the uh, Overture, um, which includes tunes like Up From The Deep, Young and Rich, Madam I'm Adam. Mondo Bondage, Up From The Deep, and White Punks on Dope. Okay, you got Got Yourself A Deal, Show Me A Reason, What Do You Want From Life, okay, basically like the title track, God Bird Change, Special Ballet, Don't Touch Me There, okay, Mondo Bondage, Smoke, and The Crime Medley, okay, which has all sorts of themes from different uh, crime TV shows like Dragnet, Peter Gunn, Perry Mason, The Untouchables, uh, I Was A Punk Before You Were Punk, I saw her standing there, their little take on the old Beatles classic, a uh, little drum solo. Boy Crazy, You're No Fun, Stand Up and Shout, and of course, finishing it all off with White Punks on Dope. Let's get some audience participation going on, shall we? A fun, quirky, really different live album, okay? Really different stuff. Tubes were always a very, very unique band, okay? Over on the other side of the ring, okay, we've got the guys from Journey, all right? Was from San Francisco area. Okay. Recorded at the Forum in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, August 8th, Kobo Arena in Detroit, Michigan, August 4th and 5th, as well as in Tokyo, Japan, October 13th, 1980. What else we got here? Fantasy Studios, Berkeley, California. That's the uh, studio track at the end. The party's over, right? Released officially, October, uh, sorry, January 30th, 1981. Okay, so this was uh, taken during the band's departure tour in 1980, which was a um, pretty big album for the band. Okay, now, they're not quite at this point in time, not yet that huge, huge band. You know, uh, Escape and, and uh, Frontiers would see to that, but still, they were a pretty big deal at this point in time. They were they're definitely a band ready for blowing up huge. Okay, big. They would be superstars very shortly thereafter. So kicking it all off, we've got uh, Where Were You? Remember, this is the last go-around with Greg Raleigh in the band. All right? I know a lot of people always miss that kind of like his vocals in the band and his Hammond organ. I think he and Steve Perry always played off each other very, very, very well. Uh, Where Were You? Just the same way. Great examples of that. Uh, Line of Fire, Lights, perennial favorite, Stay a While. Great performance on this album. Uh, Too Late. Dixie Highway, okay, new song for the, the tour. Feeling That Way, okay, another great song that has uh, Raleigh singing on it as well. Uh, Anytime, Do You Recall, Walks Like a Lady, La Do Da, Love and Touch and Squeezing, Wheel in the Sky, and finishing it off with Any Way You Want It, with the, uh, the Party's Over, Hopelessly in Love studio track thrown at the end, which I did quite a bit. Great performances here, you know. Maybe not, uh, the production is a little on the harsh side, okay? But it's got that live feel, okay, which is the important thing. So uh, I dig it. Steve Perry sounds great on it. The whole band is on fire. Of course, you got, you know, Perry on vocals, Neil Sean on guitars, 
Greg Ryland on keyboards and vocals, Ross Fallery bass and backing vocals, and the great Steve Smith on drums and percussion. All right. Great, great stuff. Both of these are great. Uh, this is a tough pick for me. But I think when it comes down to it, I've got to pick the one that I've got the most history with, the one that I've listened to the most for, you know, the longest. And, you know, when it comes down to it, I really appreciate the tubes a lot and I dig them. But I'm a much bigger Journey fan. And I, I really like this live album a lot. I think it's got some just fantastic guitar playing from Neil Sean. And I think this is Steve Perry at his absolute zenith. Gets my choice. All right, this for me is like a ninth round KO. It's a back and forth battle for a while, but you know, in the end, the the just the better songs and the fiery musicianship. Not that this doesn't happen. I mean, not, I'm not knocking this because I dig this a lot, uh, but I'm just going to go with Journey here. So ninth round TKO, referee stops the contest, but your your mileage may differ, right? And that's cool. There's no right or wrong answer here. It all depends on what we prefer, who we like. So cast your vote. Upper right-hand corner, a little white circle with a letter I in it. Vote for the tubes. Vote for Journey. Okay, leave us your feedback below, which album you prefer and why. Go vote on our Facebook page. The winner in six days will move on to round three of our tournament. Okay, so will it be Journey? Will it be the tubes? Vote and we'll see. All right. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter, of course, here on YouTube all the damn time. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. we got a bunch more live album wars coming up tomorrow so don't miss out as we finish up round two see you then bye bye